So it's now day 42 of the cab isolation, lockdown learning. We're in a field of beans that look great, all in the rows like little soldiers. We're just gonna put a spray on that'll stop the grass weeds growing in them. Otherwise they'll be competing. Same thing we were doing last week. But I've decided to film this because uh, well, there's a skylight there flying past or whatever, and peewit. But I don't know where you can see now where the ground gets heavier and it was harder to make a seabed because it had been flooded over winter. The ground's dried out to nothing. So the beans haven't germinated and the crows and the pigeons have managed to find them and eat them before they came up. So it just shows you the, the, the different soil types as you go through that little dip in the field, what a difference it can make. So if we turn back round now at the end, you'll see, it's just nowhere near as good on the heavier soil. So we could have messed around more to try and get more of a seed bed, but all we'd have done was lost even more moisture. So it just shows you that some, some years and different types of soil are suited differently to different crops and different things. But um, it's not too bad along the ditch. That's the ditch there that's tidal actually. So, but yeah, it's, um, it's amazing really. I've uh, got my sunglasses on, uh, not so I look cool, but because um, a few weeks ago, I burnt my eyes with the welder. I've got what we call welding flash. And then yesterday I was walking around um, we were building the new bungalow and the bricks were white and the concrete floor was white. I'm trying to measure up where the kitchen was going. And it actually, um, I actually woke up in the night with welders flash again. So I've got my eyes, obviously I haven't fully recovered. So the bright light's hurting me. So that's why I've got these glasses on today, which are polarized. So, I don't know whether you can see, but this is one of the reasons why I'm not using any insecticide on the beans because they're two big spidery things which are beneficials. So what's the point in killing them when they can eat the aphids and the other flies that cause problems? Just jumped off the sprayer to show you something, but as you can see, it's got four wheel steer. That is so, when we're turning the crop, we don't flatten as much. If it was just front wheel steer or rear wheel steer, it would flatten a lot of the crop as you turn. But if you look, the back wheel follows in the same wheel track as the front wheel. So as you drive through the crop, as you can see here where it's flattened it on the corner there, on the end, it's only flattened one little bit, whereas if it was front wheel steer, the back wheel would follow a different trajectory and it would cause, um, cause more damage. And when the plants are so young, and vulnerable like that they probably they probably well actually once they're past this point if you snap them off they won't grow and that's one of the big troubles we have with the quad bikes and the motorbikes going on in the field if it's wheat or barley it'll spring back up but beans once they shoot in the middle cracks that's it they just die so it's very important to have uh, something that's maneuverable that doesn't damage things as it turns in and out but we're just going down the bits in the middle that we've missed so every Every 36 metres we miss a row out, and that's what we call tram lines. I don't know why they call them tram lines and not tractor lines, but hey ho. It's a bit windy, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but we're basically digging a trench now across the old yard to connect up water pipes to the buildings over there and take electric from these buildings. So we decided that we'll use the trench because it's a lot neater. It won't be a big hole that's sinking afterwards when we fill it back in because we're only cutting a 150 millimetre trench. Whereas if we'd have used a digger, it'd have been a, a, at least a 300, if not a 600 mil trench. And a concrete mixer on there so that we can concrete the duct in this hole at the bottom into the, um, the old sort of chamber that the water pipes and the electric are going to go through. So we've got the big, big chainsaw out now. It's we'll getting a bit windy and a bit noisy when I get up there. Like something you see in the fur for when you want to look like 
win some uh, teddy bears or something like that. It's less than a metre wide, so it'll fit through a standard doorway. Hopefully. finishing off a bit of spray now the wind's dropped tonight again um, that's about it for today uh, for some reason someone's decided to open all the gates on the sheep field and cut some of the fence down and mix all the sheep up so Amanda's trying to sort that out now um, don't forget the letter of the day today is, is S for Sky Lantern and if you want you should sign the petition to get them banned because they're dangerous to livestock and dangerous to animals and the video the end bit of yesterday's video I put on Twitter and um, I think there's about 80,000 people seen it so far and about 100,000 people seen it on Facebook because someone else had put it on Facebook for me. So uh, it'd be good if everyone that's seen it gets involved and signed the petition to get them banned and um, we can get them banned like they did in Wales. So bye for now.